Roadhouse Review, Jake Gyllenhaal teams up with Post Malone and Conor McGregor. Get ready to rock and roll in this reimagining of the 1989 Patrick Swayze classic. With a Looney Tunes-esque twist that'll leave you grinning, Roadhouse serves up a fun B-movie throwback aesthetic that's downright addictive. Director Doug Lyman teams up with Anthony Bagarazzi and Charles Mondry to set the stage for an epic showdown. But when this delightfully goofy flick tries to get serious, it's a roller coaster ride of ridiculous twists, cringe worthy line readings, and some seriously questionable fight CGI. Enter Elwood Dalton, played by the magnetic Jake Gyllenhaal, a fallen hero with a reputation that strikes fear into his opponent's hearts. Joined by the fierce Frankie, Jessica Williams, owner of the troubled roadhouse in Sunny Glass Key, Florida, Dalton steps up as the ultimate bouncer. But there's more to this bar brawl than meets the eye as a power-hungry real estate mogul named Ben Brandt, Billy Magnuson, aims to shut down Frankie's establishment. Q. Dalton's bone-crushing encounters with Ben's lackeys, leaving them bruised and battered. Amidst the chaos, Dalton finds himself drawn to the fiery doctor Ellie, Daniela Melchior, who challenges his supposed altruism. Their connection is a slow burn, but the film takes unexpected detours and keeps you guessing about their fate. In the 80s movies that Roadhouse reveres, passion would ignite between them, but here it's just a flicker trying to find its flame. While the character dynamics may falter, the real letdown is the film's tone. To truly pack a punch, Roadhouse needed a tactile, visceral experience. You should feel the scorching Florida heat, the impact of every blow, and the thud of bodies hitting the floor. Unfortunately, the CGI magic falls short, leaving a trail of obvious digital effects that belong more in a video game than a cinematic adventure. Quick fight scenes deliver a jolt, but the extended sequences expose all the strings with punches and reactions resembling cutscenes. It's a missed opportunity to create an immersive experience that only amplifies the disappointment. And then there's Conor McGregor as Knox, a wild card injected into the latter half of the movie. McGregor's performance is both captivating and bewildering, his massive grin seemingly pulled straight from a weigh-in showdown. He struts and smiles like an aggro Popeye, leaving us wondering if it's intentional or an unpolished display. The debate rages on. In the end, Roadhouse becomes a clash of two worlds. Gyllenhaal embodies the essence of a Zen warrior pushed to his limits, while Magnuson and McGregor fully embrace the absurdity, taking it to new heights. The result is a jarring imbalance that leaves you yearning for the equilibrium found in 80s classics, where grounded heroes and exaggerated villains danced in harmony. Oh, and let's not forget the nostalgia for practical effects that would have elevated this wild ride even further. So buckle up, grab your popcorn, and prepare for an adventure that oscillates between blissful B-movie fun and CGI mayhem. Roadhouse will leave you longing for the golden era of cinema, where heroes soared and punches felt real.